Dr. Petra Illig. I'm a medical doctor in Anchorage, Alaska, and I've been using rhodiola for myself and my patients for quite some time. And I have to tell you that uh, as a traditionally trained physician graduate of the medical school at uh, University of Washington in Seattle, it took a lot of um, data and uh, publications to convince me of its health benefits. So the beauty about rhodiola as an adaptogen is that it helps people adapt to their uh, internal and external stress. So there may be different responses in different people depending on what their needs are. But primarily it's used for the physical and mental enhancement, uh, performance enhancement that can help people focus more or have more stamina if they are engaging in uh, physical exertion like athletes. But from a health perspective, it's primarily used for stress management and low energy states. So it can be helpful in people who have chronic fatigue syndrome, who have depression uh, syndrome, because those are all states where literally your body runs out of energy. Rhodiola is very good at providing the body with additional energy on a cellular level, uh, where it might be failing due to stress, both coming internally from disease or externally from your circumstances. So primarily used for physical and mental stimulation um, and for um, stress management in low energy states, depression, uh, and other neurological neurodegenerative states where people run out of energy. So uh, it can basically be considered um, a way to fortify your body, rebalance your internal mechanisms that are uh, faltering from stress or illness.